So what is going on people, welcome to episode 6 of the FIFA 22 career mode here with Barnsley. And well, if you are looking forward to this episode, make sure you pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel as always. The continued support on the start of the series has been superb, so I just want to say thank you. Lots of, uh, lots of comments coming um, my way, which is unusual for my videos, but I appreciate it all the same. Thank you very much. It's a very constructive comments as well um, even including some ta transfer targets for the future which I've uh, had a look into but we have got the England shirt back on today playing hungry tonight hopefully we'll be able to get this recorded before the game actually starts but if we have a look what happened last time out then it was a three game episode reverted back to three games after the bumper episode a couple ta episodes ago and well three wins we destroyed Millwall 4-0 in the first game before a last gas winner away at top of the table reading and then a tight 1-0 win at Middlesbrough as well so a very progressive um, a very pleasing episode is what I should be saying nine points from nine today we start with a game against local rival Sheffield United before a game away at Bristol City and then we'll end the episode with that home game against Derby County and in the next episode we'll do the rest of the four games in November so if we have a look at the championship table then as it stands as you can see we are in second place just a point behind Reading now after beating them with three points ahead of West Brom Middlesbrough Birmingham and Bournemouth make up the rest of the promotion places down towards the bottom Swansea Millwall and Blackpool the teams at at risk at the moment let's say but it's still fairly tight we are about a quarter of the way into the championship season now so you're starting to get a feel for what teams are going to be around where this season obviously we're going to be fighting out to try and win that league and it looks good so far so without any further ado then let's go and play this game against Sheffield United it's going to be a tough test that is for certain so we've had to make a number of changes for this game then a lot of tired players well only four players remain seven changes in total so Collins and then the back three Helic Anderson and Pavlovich remain both Williams come in at full back Gomez and Benson in his central midfield Frieza Allaire and Devante Cole in so debuts then for Josh Benson and Devante Cole haven't used them yet so it'll be interesting to see how they get on of course other changes made we know how good Allaire can be and Frieza as well so we shouldn't be too bad. And this is Sheffield United starting lineup. Robert Olsen in goal. A back five potentially it looks like from Sheffield United. As you would expect maybe. Baldock, Basham, O'Connell, Davis and Osborne. Fleck, Hurrahan and Berger in midfield. Sharp and Mousset up front. So still plenty of quality in the Sheffield United side. They are certainly a good team for this level. Underperforming slightly you could say in real life at the moment. Sorry, I'm just like adjusting my screen, just bothering me ever so slightly. But yeah, complete, well, not complete, but a lot of changes to the side. It'd be interesting to see how the likes of this man, Josh Benson, gets on. And Devante Cole, we know Devante Cole's rapid. Haven't used him yet this season, though, so it'll be interesting to see. But Benson, good ball out towards Freezer, and he skipped by his man beautifully there as Dominic Freezer. But Osborne, I think, is it is it Osborne out on this left-hand side? Anyway, Jordan Williams. There's a bit of space there for Benson. Going to be hard to break down already, Sheffield United. I've got a feeling Williams. We skip past Bulldog. Does well to keep it in play. But again, just no space to create anything. And we're going to go all the way back to Anderson. Gomez. Can have a shot from distance. Maybe just a bit of an itchy trigger finger there. Just wanted to get something going, but it was a shot well blocked. And moving it about very nicely, Sheffield United, as you might expect. Still some Premier League quality in their side. Osborne gets the ball in. Berger is there to meet it. There's a goal mouth scramble. And somehow Mousset has hit the bar from there. That is a massive let off for us. Burahan, good ball into Berger. Mousset into Billy Sharp. It's a lovely save from Brad Collins. Sharp comes in, makes the tackle, but it goes out for the goal kick. Didn't have a lot of venom on the strike from Billy Sharp, but actually it was the direction that maybe caused the problem. And, well, Brad Collins has actually done pretty well to get down to it. Sharp, lovely ball out towards Bulldog. Williams has to get over to him. Allows him inside. Sharp on the edge. 
And my word, they've rattled the post. A lovely strike from distance. Oh, come on, boys. This is sloppy. It's going to be Freezer to take it in. Oh. Cole tries to get there. It's Benson, you know. We'll strike one. Oh, it's hit Basham. Uller. I can't get it. It wasn't even Uller, to be fair. Helic. Benson. Try again with Benson. Oh. Likes a long shot, does this guy, but that one straight down the throat of Robin Olsen. Less than five minutes to go. I'll be happy to get in at nil-nil, to be honest. Fleck. We say nice one-touch passing here from Sheffield United. We can't can't contend with it. And they've opened the scoring. Lovely one-touch sequence there. Could not get near them whatsoever. A lovely ball through from Sharp. I thought Collins might just be able to get there. And actually, Mousset has beat him to it. And he dinks the ball over him. Freeze, I need you, mate, to run there, mate. But Sheffield United take a deserved lead, it must be said. Mousset, that's the ball Sharp was looking for. Into Osborne on the overlap. Checks back. All the way across, and Sander Berger isn't going to have a much simpler finish than that. On his left peg, just passes that into the net. It's a lovely cutback from Os Osborne, actually, and he played it behind everyone, but Berger was able to adjust himself. Yeah, just plays it behind. And, well, Berger was there. Collins may be unsighted. It wasn't right in the corner, and that's disappointing. A double change for us, Styles and Ramsey come on in the middle of midfield to replace Gomez and Benson. Immediately Styles gives it away. But yeah, Benson, you know, there's I don't know what his potential in the game is, to be fair, but I enjoyed using him, so he's certainly not out of the question in terms of um being a long term part of the squad. Would need to grow ideally fairly quickly. Um but Gomez just we know he's a good player, he just didn't have a good good game today unfortunately but I don't think there's going to be make a few changes and there's not much else we could have done really sharp good save there from Brad Collins but it's a disappointing defeat our first defeat in a played game this season of course our only other league defeat coming at home to Nottingham Forest in a sim game so the two games we've lost actually have both been home games which is an ideal and they're just content to keep possession and that was fairly routine for Sheffield United actually didn't have an answer for them whatsoever and I think that just kind of summed up our day to be honest <laughs> that scramble there just couldn't get anything going to be honest it's just a bit of transfer news uh, Sutton have agreed a deal to take Jason Sraha on a two year loan deal so hopefully he will agree to that Kitchen has agreed to go on loan in, uh, to Almeria in January as well so hopefully he can get a bit of football there we are at the day of the Bristol City game. Lots of scout reports in. Um, so, yeah, let me go and deal with those and then we'll get into the game. So, this is the Bristol City lineup then for the second game of the episode. Bentley in goal. A back four of Viner, Simpson, Baker, and De Silva. Two in midfield holding Williams and Andy King. Semenu on the right, O'Dowd on the left, and Casey Palmer in behind Naki Wells. Some good players in there. Premier League experience for certain. We are back to a full complement. Everyone's rested. Everyone's ready to go. Lara Saker back up top. The championship top goal scorer, might I add. So, hopefully, now that we're back to a normal... Well, I say normal. Now we're back to a full complement and a full strength. Hopefully, it'll be a complete performance. Running down the line, but really got no one to aim at. And he's cut out, tackled by the silver anyway. But Britain does really well to get the ball there off O'Dowd up. Ramsey into Palmer. He has a left foot strike. And Bentley does well to get it down low and push it around the post. Let's have a look at this one again. Left footed strike from Ramal Palmer. Not his strongest foot, but had Bentley stretching. We'll whip this one in. Styles. Lara Saker. Oh, looking to get on the end of it. And then Casey Palmer is going to get there ahead of Callum Britton. And that is a quality first time ball. And Naki Wells is in behind here. We'll call out Brad Collins. And thankfully, Naki Wells has fluffed his lines. That is a massive let off. One ball, and we were completely undone there. Palmer, again, some good one touch passing from uh, from Bristol City. It must be said, moving the ball around very nicely, very quickly, like Sheffield United did. Anderson is there and able to get a block on the shot. And we can come away with it here. 
Palmer. Asaka has made the run, and that is an absolutely superb ball for Leia Asaka. Can he get away from his man? Referee surely been brought down there. Apparently not. Apparently it's a fair tackle. Ramsey, Woodrow will get a strike away as well blocked. Fairly end-to-end -end in this game. Britain does well. Again, he's been superb already in this game. Leira, oh, okay. He's got the ball back, Woodrow. Palmer. Finds Carlton Morris. Can we bend one, maybe? Never threatening the goal. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less from Carlton Morris, to be honest. Ball out wide here to Woodrow. Leira Seca busting a gut to get into the middle. Oh, and he gets his head on it. But it clips the top of the crossbar. Closest either side has come to finding the back of the net. I do apologise for my coughing if there's a lot of jump cuts. I don't know what it is, but it just seems to, yeah. I'm pretty much over my illness now, I would say. Maybe not still 100%, but I'm definitely at like 85 90%. But, yeah, apparently all this talking and doing it quickly as well is making me cough a bit, so I do apologise. That's a lovely ball, actually. Carl Morris, is he going to be brought down? He is. And I feel like... No, I was going to say I feel like this is our first penalty of the season, but I don't think it is. As we enter the one minute of added time at the end of this half, well, it is going to be Lara Saker, the man to step up. Daniel Bentley in the Bristol City goal. We send in the wrong way. And Lara Saker continues his fine goal-scoring form. He adds another one to his tally for the season. A very composed penalty. Sends to Bentley the wrong way. And that we will certainly take into the half-time break. It's been a very close game, to be fair, to Bristol City. They've made life difficult for us. Obviously, Naki Wells had that great chance early doors. But, uh, yeah, so far, we've been able to keep them out. And hopefully, we can still do that in the second half as well. Williams, Palmer... Williams again. Casey Palmer. Casey against Romau. I don't know if they're related. King. Just camped on the edge of our box now. Bristol City. Williams. O'Dowda into Naki Wells. Can we get... I was going to say, can we get a block in? But we don't need to. Wells takes the shot on, on his left peg. When he shoots into the side. Netting change for Bristol City. They bring on... Hands Noah Masengo. Well, blocked by Viner, clearly by the arm, but blocked nevertheless. I'm not turning handballs on in this career mode. I've seen some, some people do it online already, and the amount of pens you get is ridiculous. Stars corner is whipped away. Helic, not really the man I would have wanted on the edge there to strike that, to be honest. Ramsey, the space out here, still for Styles. Could we get into the area? Cam Styles. Pull this back for Lara Senka. What a save by Daniel Bentley. Normally all the time on FIFA 21 those work. But the keeper able to get a foot to it and divert it over the bar. Styles. Oh, it's been it's off the bar. I think it's Corley Woodrow. Header really well angled and looped over the keeper. He's got no chance. But that should be all things done and dusted. And it is 1-0 we win. In Bristol, wasn't the most commanding of performances, let's say. But uh, we got the job done, nevertheless. Three points as Reading dropped points as well. So we can catch them back up. So then, Reading, out of the top two for the first time, it what seems like, all season. But us, West Brom and Reading all sat on 33 points. And then the teams behind us all sat on 27. It's going to be tight this season. That is for certain. Let's progress a date so we get these uh, youth scout reports. So what's some um, Ben 8 looking like? 74 to 82, up to 49. But that potential window now down as low as it is. I think it's going to be goodbye to Kobe Sam Ben 8. 17 as well, only 49 rated. Not ideal. So let's see if Mr. Nichols has brought us anything. Logan Horton is still there. 74 to 92. We'll keep on looking at him. Cameron Carpenter. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to be releasing him. Tyre Williams is going to be a no as well. Elliot Warren is going to be a no. So, we've got no uh, Youth Academy at the moment, which isn't ideal. 
So yeah, no Youth Academy at the moment, which isn't ideal. But we have got the final game of the episode against Derby coming up. So I will jump into that one in just a second. And Sraha has agreed his two-year loan to Sun. Lovely. Just before the Derby game, we've had a loan offer for Jasper Moon from Paris FC. Loan with an option to buy, but I'm going to delegate that and go with a loan and see if they'll come back with just a normal loan. Hopefully we can get another youngster out the door getting some football. So this is our lineup then for the last game of the episode against Derby. We're able to name an unchanged side. We are still at full strength for this game. Coughing's really starting to become an issue now. So uh, if I talk less in this game, that'll be why. I don't know, yeah, I don't know where this cough has come from all of a sudden. I haven't really been coughing today at all. But I do apologise. Didn't think it would interfere with the recording. This is the Derby lineup then. So Ryan Allsop in goal. Wow, that's a very young back line. Uh, Colin McDonald, Aaron Cashin, Craig Forsyth, and Lee Buchanan. And then it gets stronger as you go forward. Lawrence Shinny, Bielik, and Sibley in the midf midfield. Josviak and Sam Bulldog up front. Henek and Josviak, of course, Polish national team teammates. Long-winded way of saying it, but you know what I mean. And Ramsey is able to get in here. I was could have had the opportunity to sweaty that, but I didn't. I'm going to go all the way back out here to Ramal Palmer, striking from distance. And it's comfortable for Allsop, <clears throat> for Helic Heads it straight back where it came from. And Carl Morris, that is a lovely ball from Leira Seiko. And Carlton Morris, he finds the back of the net this time. On target, the strike too powerful for Allsop. He gets a hand to it. But not enough to divert it away from goal. It comes, looks like it comes off his thumb almost. Like It just doesn't really change the direction. And Morris... Yeah, top of his glove. Put it into the back of the net. And that is the most important thing. Woodrow. Lots of space on the left-hand side. So that's where we go. That is an unbelievable ping. And Morris. Oh, it was almost superb. The first time ball from Styles. The little flick up from Morris to set himself for the volley. But he's dragged it wide on his weaker foot. That would have been some goal in the end. Derby with a bit of a reprieve. Looking for Ramal Palmer. We'll go out again to Callum Styles. Try and get a ball into the near post. Carl Morris is there to me again. Hard effort for him though. Hit it on the volley, but his back was facing away from goal. So that's a sort of turn and hit it. And didn't have the angle to get enough direction on it in the end. Straight at all shot. Buchanan. Forward to Josviak. Balled up. Shinny. Oh, it's a good interception from Helic, not once but twice. Josviak hits that on the volley, but it's a lovely save from Brad Collins. They're quite good going forward, but it's just like all out going forward, and they're kind of not very responsible when it comes to keeping numbers back and actually trying to defend. It's a, a bit of a careless system, but if it's been working for them this season, then who am I to criticise as Palmer? <clears throat> tries to work himself some space in the end. Um, runs into a Derby man, though this is a good move. Sibley plays in the middle, a bulldog, up. That's an unbelievable save. And he gets up again to punch away Brad Collins. I thought for all the world that was going to be an equaliser. A bulldog. It's that classic cliche, either side of the keeper. Oh, that. Oh, referee. After that turn. <clears throat> I would have liked to have seen Leira Seiko go on and score from there, but it is half time. But actually, I've been I've been slagging Derby off. It's only one nil, and they've you know they've been a part of this first half for certain. So fair play to them, Britain Ramsey into Leira Seiko. Palmer <coughs> just skips back. Jacob Ramsey. As soon as I shot, I knew I'd gone the wrong side. I tried to keep it near post. Actually, I should have gone across the key, but it styles to whip in the corner. Oh, Woodrow almost gets on the end of that. Styles keep it in. He does indeed. All the way back to Mikhail Helic. Ramsey. Got nowhere to go, though. Lots of bodies back. Fine. Ramal Palmer. He'll have a strike. 
And also is able to turn that one behind. But as well defended. And Morris actually does really well to get away from his defenders. Palmer getting this ball out towards Woodrow. Lovely whipped ball. Holly Woodrow laying this one off. Jacob Ramsey on the left peg. It's a lovely save from Ryan Alsop. Turns this one behind. Thought that might have been the one. That might have been the chance. But we have a corner. Whipping towards the near post. Styles. Ains Valera Saker. Oh, and it's come off one of the defenders. Buchanan is there to get it away off the line. Needs to be now for Derby. And that is actually an unbelievable ball. If he's on side, Louis Sibley strikes from distance. Oh, we can breathe a sigh of relief there. Didn't have the pace to get away from the defenders, but realised that. And the shot was dipping, it was dipping, but just not quite dipping enough. May have just skimmed the crossbar on the way over. Although Helic gets it away only as far as a Derby man. And so Palmer. Morris, can he get there? He does. Feeds the ball into Lara Saker. Can he finish the game for us? He can. It's the man you'd want on the end of that chance. Thought he might have taken it a little too far, actually. But I would come running down the touchline. I'm in absolute, I'm loving. I'm loving life. I'm in the middle of the bundle. Absolute scenes here at Oakwell in the injury time. Yeah, I was actually aiming to get that to Woodrow. They played to Leia a second, but that was fine. I thought he might have taken it a bit too close to Allsop. But it's the power. That beats the Derby keeper, who's been superb all evening, to be fair to him. But just on this occasion, we thought we could have lost it. But instead, we've made doubly sure that the points will be ours. Fair play to Derby, though. I wrote them off, and actually, they've been really good competitors in this game. But we have just been too clinical for them, I think. And there goes the full-time whistle. We recover from an opening defeat in the episode to get two wins to end the episode. So I cannot complain about that. Only three shots, it says Derby had. But actually, I felt like they were, you know, they were good. They were good sparring partners tonight. West Brom dropped points, I noticed there as well. So if we advance then to the whole game, um, got another scout report in there. International break, I think, after this game as well. I'll deal with all this off screen. If we have a look then at the championship table, we sit atop for the first time this season. Two points clear of West Brom and Reading. We've got one better goal difference than West Brom as well, but it's still very tight. But we are 10 points clear of seven played Bournemouth as well, so we are going along very nicely. Borough, Birmingham and Sheffield United make up the rest of the uh, of the. Playoff places, that's what I was saying. The two teams we've lost to, to be fair, in and around the playoffs. So actually, no real shocks, to be honest. Um, in terms of the bottom of the table, Luton, Swansea and Blackpool, I think that's pretty much as you were. Millwall may have been down there, to be fair. But if we have a look then at the calendar for next month, or the calendar of what's to come, we will have the rest of these four games from November. So we will um, have... I think we'll play Hull and Fulham. We will sim the Swansea game and then we will play Posh to end the episode. And we have five games in uh, in December as well. So we've got that to look forward to. But January, not too far away actually. Although we've got no money really to do anything with. So it will be a case of players going out to have to then bring players in. But... Who knows, we'll deal with that as and when it comes. But anyway, guys, that is the end of today's episode. I apologise once again for the coughing and, you know, probably might be a bit jump cutty. I do apologise. I didn't expect it, but it's just crept up on me. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.